I also watched this new, this brand new movie called The House on the Bayou. It begins with a married couple. The husband is an English literature professor. And the mom is a stay-at-home housewife. They have a nice lifestyle from the husband's job at a university. And one day their perfect world is thrown upside down when the wife discovers her husband has been cheating on her with an English lit student. So as you can imagine, it doesn't go over very well. But she doesn't want a divorce. She doesn't want to break the family up because they have a teenage daughter named Anna. She loves their lifestyle and she just wants to work through this rough patch and just go on with life. She dabbles in real estate and discovers this amazing gothic house in the swamps. And she decides to take her family there to get away from everything for a while. And it's a huge mess of house and also a locked room that they can't seem to find a key to. And the trouble begins when they stop at a local grocery store and meet a local older gentleman and his 18-year-old son. And it hits the proverbial fan when the house guests invite themselves over for dinner and don't want to stay. It slowly turns into a home invasion type movie. But everything isn't always as it seems in this movie, as the characters find out. I like this movie a lot. I like the twists and turns. I like the gothic mansion. There is a scene where a cat gets hurt and killed off screen, uh, which bothered me. But other than that, it's a good twisty movie. I'm going to assume it was done maybe before COVID and we're just now seeing it. Who knows? I liked Angela Serafian's performance and her husband, played by Paul Schneider. And I thought the young actors who played their daughter did a good job, too. She was very sympathetic. And, of course, the actors of The Home Invaders, the young son and his grandpappy, as he calls them, uh, did a really great job. So it's a very entertaining 86 Minutes I found it on Amazon Prime to stream. It might be on different platforms. But I really enjoyed it. It was a nice it was a nice change on the usual home invasion type movies. And I've always been creeped out by home invasion movies. Um it's definitely a fear, a primal fear of mine. Uh, you know, waking up in the middle of the night and possibly finding someone in your house that doesn't belong and being taken hostage is a very scary situation. Uh, luckily, I've never had that happen to me, but watching the movies, like, is enough for me. So give this one a shot if you're into home invasion or horror movies. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed this little rant. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.